This led to more exposure, eventual start of civilization, the invention of fire control technology literally made us more intelligent through larger brains. Technology is like fire. Meet Mr. Cherimoya and Mr. Dhumasaki, two of our great, great, great ancestors from almost a million years ago. One fine evening, after a long day of hunting, Cherimoya and Dhumasaki met outside of their caves as they usually do before going to sleep to share the food they hunted that day and enjoy their meal. Before the meal, they typically get ready for the next day by sharpening their stone tools and that day was no different. But what starts to be a typical evening turns into a life-changing event for them, everyone else and honestly, this whole wide world. Let's talk about them today. While they sharpen their tools that day, they see sparks as they always do. But what was different about that day? The sparks were strong enough to produce a fire. And the fire that accidentally starts catches on to the food they hunt that day. Remember, in their mind, fire was bad because all they saw till then was fire destroying everything around them. Obviously sad at the fact that their hard-earned food was burnt, they still end up eating it because they don't have an option. It was too late to go hunting again. But that's where they realize it actually tasted good. They thought the food was burnt, but it was actually, guess what? Cooked. Cooking is something we take for granted. But remember that cooking was foreign to our ancestors because they were only used to eating raw food prior to this incident. Liking what they ate that day, they started quote-unquote cooking their food from then on and that new habit of using fire to making their meals more delicious caught up with everyone else slowly but surely like a fire. That gave rise to all the different delicious cuisines we enjoy today, obviously, over time. Okay, before we move forward, let me clarify that this is a fictional story with fictional characters. But here is what I want you to take away from this. Number one, fire control technology was invented that day. So while they knew what fire was and what it could do, they invented a new technology that day, the technology of creating and controlling fire. Many don't look at this as a technology, but it surely is. This is arguably one of the primitive technologies our ancestors have invented that literally changed the lives forever. Number two, fire enabled migration. This on-demand production of fire helped our ancestors light up campfires that kept them warm in cold weathers that helped them migrate out to places with colder weathers expanding their footprint on this planet. This led to more exposure, eventual start of civilizations, and slowly but surely a need for innovation which drove to the current day smart cities, smart factories, and smart homes. Number three, Fire helped expand our species. They slowly mastered this new fire controlling technology and they could use this fire to fend off predators. So less of them were hunted and eaten by wild animals. Cooking the raw food also helped kill harmful pathogens, enabling our ancestors to live longer, hence making our species longer lasting. Number four, fire gave us more brain power. This is the most important part of this story. With the food softer, our bodies do not have to work as hard to eat raw foods. Cooking also breaks nutrients so our body can easily digest and absorb them. And result, our body started to get more calories than before, much, much more easily. That led to several developmental advances over time, hundreds of thousands of years later. Main one being these excess calories going to the brain, which is a body part that consumes the most amount of calories to function, helping it grow in size. Sure, there are other factors such as the lesser stress to put food on the table, etc. Again, thanks to the fire or fire control technology that have played a role in the brain development as well. But the point is the invention of fire control technology literally made us more intelligent through larger brains. Without 
without this crucial development, we would probably have been walking around with larger bodies and smaller brains like our close friends, apes and chimps. And of course, probably with larger jaws and tooth as well to bite that raw meat. Mainly, we wouldn't have the intelligence we enjoy today that distinguishes us from many species in this world. Mainly, this intelligence gave rise to all the technological advances since then from the great technology of wheels back in the day that transformed how we transport people and goods to the latest deals like generative AI that are transforming how we live our lives and everything in between. And of course, the other effects of fire control that helped us spread across the globe that led to more exposure and eventual start of civilizations we discussed earlier played a role as well. Now, let us land this plane by discussing the last and very important part of this fire story. So, point number five, technology is like fire. Fire is not always good. In fact, it generally causes more bad to us than good, especially when it starts naturally or accidentally. Similarly, the fire starting or fire control technology has its own downsides as well. In fact, a lot of downsides. You can start a fire to cook a nice meal and feed someone. You can start a fire to shoot and kill someone. You can start a fire to keep yourself warm. You can start a fire to burn an entire city. Whether it's deliberate use of fire control technology for destruction such as wars or accidental start of fires that wiped out many neighborhoods and people, fire and the associated technologies that control it come with many risks. Other technologies we invented are no different. Technologies and human inventions can be used constructively or destructively. This becomes even more relevant today given all the fears around whether or not artificial intelligence is going to take this world over. AI will bring many benefits, probably similar to what the fire control technology has brought along in long term. Yet, it comes with many, many risks as well, similar to fire control technology. AI could be used to destroy each other, even the entire humankind, if someone wishes, and this is not an understatement. So, we have a couple of options in front of us. Option A, stop artificial intelligence due to its risks and fears. Option B, let it advance due to its benefits. Option C, regulate AI development and innovate responsibly. So what do you think we should do? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You think A is the right answer, B is the right answer, or C? Again, please mention your thoughts in the comments. Or you have a completely different answer, please mention that as well. Write your answer in the comments, but let us have this conversation.